been around the internet any this uh, past week, you've seen some videos and some topics and some blogs and vlogs about real men don't buy girls. And of course this is talking about prostitution. I, I want to take this just a little step further and talk about pornography. Now if you're a, a younger person, um, you know, this, is, this may be a PG rated video and I'll just warn you up front. But um, let's talk about pornography as it relates to the idea that real men don't buy girls. Of course, pornography takes a woman and pays her for the process of sex and then records that on video. There's the initial payment, of course, that, that goes from the producers and the people that are making the film into paying that woman and that man to do that. But it also replicates that process over and over and over again every time that video is bought and sold and every time that video is downloaded I don't care if it's given away for free it's still porn it's still prostitution now I want to take this a step further than that and talk about what I call the replacement factor if you're in a relationship with a woman or even if you're going to be in a relationship with a woman someday and this I'm directing this mainly at young men of course uh, old men men of any age um, if you are in a relationship with a woman or going to be in a relationship with a woman someday and you're not in a relationship right now the process of viewing porn replaces that woman in that relationship. It replaces the physical presence of that woman in that relationship. Now you may think that's crazy. You may think eh, there's no way. But here's what happens. In your mind, you are constantly going to be able to review and bring that those images back to the surface. And you are going to replace that woman in your life with those images you have in your mind. You're going to cling to those images. Now, I know there are people that are going to disagree with this. Hey, there's nothing wrong with porn, Chris. It's all right. You know what? Don't lie to yourself. And I'm not going to let you, let you lie to me. The truth of the matter is you are going to replace that person. Now, let's, let's put this in a real-world scenario. Uh, let's say you come home one day and you have a, a girl in the passenger seat of your car and you walk in the door with this this woman and you take him take her into your wife and you say hey I just got your replacement uh, get out that's that's not going to work you know that's not gonna work but it's the same thing mentally it's the same kind of thing Jesus said when we have sinned in our heart we have sinned the thought of doing those things is the same as doing them. So I, I just want to challenge you with that thought. And I want to, um, I want to, if you go to a video right here, you'll see a video that uh, my friend David at the Pursuit blog uploaded. And David, to you, I want to say, good job, man. Um, to anyone else who is feeling challenged by these views, I am an open-minded person and I would like to discuss it with you. I would like to hear your views on it. I'm not just going to spit out stuff and expect nothing in return. This is a two-way street, so uh, please feel free to, to chime in, and um, thanks for watching. God bless.